We're going to try for the most straightforward ending that we've managed to be avoiding this whole time, which is, of course, your friend. Childhood friend. Been ignoring him for RPG characters, murderers, guys double my age who teach me math. And secret agents. Oh yeah, and, Nage and Nageki the ghost. <coughs> so, um... Do I check it's recording? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you, 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 Kazawaki. Back to Snuffkin over here. Not even gonna fucking try because I did last time what they told me to. And I think I think it's because I loaded from a save state that it fucked up, and I think I might have done one thing wrong where I hung out with Nanaki instead of just going home when he said, "Oh, you're here today," and I'm, you know, you come a day early, and I hung out with Nanaki, and that was enough to send me hurtling down the math teacher path. And ignoring the fact that I'd basically been doing everything in my power to get Shu. So, I know what I did wrong, but we'll see how long it takes for me to get Ryota. It said join anything, because Ryota's not on anything, because he just goes home. So we're going to join the track team, it doesn't fucking matter. And as we just proven, you can't evenly split... Shu and Ryota's path, because then you get murdered for not banging enough birds, apparently. So that's nice. Uh, it also said you can study whatever the hell you want, so I'm just going to pick a random. Yes. Uh, I'm sure it will turn out later that that's not true, but like, oh well, we'll find out later. Let's see some classic Okasan antics. It's not over pudding. Make a choice, I don't remember doing this. I got his ending before. You can't even fly this fast. Pant, pant. You're still weak! Your potential. Thanks. That's all, folks. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Uh, yeah, health first, dude, on. Calorie mate, ha ha ha, so funny. Let's, let's go on with this. <laughs> I'm such an asshole now. Sports festival. The only option we never took. Are you ready? New content, everyone. I'm a huge loser, so I can't find a partner for the three-legged race, and I have to rely on my childhood friend. Okay. Dead set. You. Tearing up a bird and a primate might have been a idea, bad idea. Why would he be running for both of you? Surely you'd be just like, there's just a pigeon taped to your leg and you're just sprinting down the road. We somehow came in second though. They brought honor to our class. Midterm exam. Kazuaki says you're dumb.
talk about Brian. Brian the Nazi Pigeon. Sounds like an enigmatic leader of some kind. Uh, uh, da, 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 go to the cafeteria. I read this flow chart. One half dead fried rice, please. Mmm. This is wrong. A fake, a vicious lie. Jesus. This is not pudding. Fucking hell. I know you said so. Come on, let's eat outside. We can't hold around in here. What's going on? Not that I can't tell by looking. Sam saw the pudding here and went nuts. He went on a rampage. Release me at once. My rage voltage is rising. Uh, leave it to me. <laughs> My hunter-gatherer blood boils. <laughs> no, the beast queen shows her true colors. Pull out, pull out. Rushes from the cafeteria like a rabbit from a catapult. Safe at last. No problemo, neighborino. All I did was shout blah blah. Apparently that was enough, because he's an idiot. Now we can all eat lunch without fear of pudding disasters. Feel like I should have done this one first. <laughs> Wait, I'm not gonna lie. On the Steam community, there's straight up a list of like the order you should be doing them in to make the most of it, and it's like I feel like I didn't I haven't even read that document. It's nap time. I now have more than one whiz. I have six whiz. <laughs> Today is Tanabata. Here's the check. Anybody? Yeah! The fuck? I guess that's Okasan? Conquer the world by force. Hello. Uwu. I feel like if I say yes, it will go hurtling towards Nanaki ending again, so. So I'm always like rejecting him now, which I feel bad about. Gim, Gaim, great, good work. We're in the textile room next, right? Let's walk together. Sure. Huh? That was unenthusiastic. You don't look too good. Are you okay? Fine. Shut up. Stop talking to me. Let's go. Blah. You're not fine. Yeah, well, that's my stomach. This happens all the time. Nothing to worry about. Go to infirmary for a bit. Could you let the teacher know? Play. Everyone else see that spelling error? Play. Can you make it there on your own? Yeah, I can, whatever. I'm gonna die now, because I've gone to the infirmary. And now he's dead. He's still in the infirmary. I'll go check on him after lunch. A Hyoko marches on her stomach. Yota! Hello. Are you okay? You look even worse than you did earlier. Fine. Thing around just makes it worse. I got some medicine from the doctor, but it's clearly poison. Oh, this medicine is doing him any good. I don't trust anything that doctor prescribed. Something's wrong if you go to the infirmary feeling sick and go home feeling worse. Wait a minute, Ryota. I'm going to give that doctor a piece of my mind. 
No, don't. It's not his fault. I'm just weak and feeble. I'm going to... Go yell at a doctor. Nothing! This has nothing to do with it. I'll be back later. Doctor! Barging in the door, Shaffer does hot exo to practice. Shall I prepare a sedative? <laughs> no. I want to talk to you about Ryota. Oh yeah, him. He left. You rested here for two hours and wasn't any better for it. You did something to him, didn't you? Wouldn't it have been worse to do nothing to him? Doing things to people is my job, after all. Well, yeah, but I mean something unnecessary. I'm afraid I can't respond to complaints with no evidence. Alright, Karen. <laughs> I examined his condition and provided him with appropriate medicine. Beyond that, it's all down to how quickly his body recovers. You can't possibly be holding me responsible for his unhealthy nature. <laughs> He's probably right. It doesn't have anything to do with Ryota's weak, feeble body. If you did something to him, please do send in a complaint after you find evidence. An evil smile flickers across his face and he's gone. Maybe you have to do this ending before you realize how evil he is. I don't know. I don't know how this game works. Saka. Sa. Yes. No, never mind, you did badly. No. Try harder. I don't want to study. Fuck you, Nanaki. I don't need to go to school. I'm here to date birds. I'll clean up the club room and check the summer schedule. To the track club. Munch, munch, munch. Okasan looks excited. Not angry for once, but still, this is... Ah, what are you doing? The floor is covered in beans. <laughs> munch, munch, they're good. I feel like I didn't do this, did, didn't do this for his ending, and I'm confused how I got his ending and didn't read this. It looks like he's been stockpiling his nutritional balance supplements and is eating them all at once. He's happy about it. What should I do? I'm not joining in. Scold him for his stupid bean eating. Okasan, stop it. These are Okasan's beans, you cannot interfere! <laughs> fucking weirdo. Be quiet, where's your pride, you fucking bean eating weirdo? Come at me, boy! Use wing attack. Asura began a food fight that spanned several hours of floor awash in blood and beans. You've got guts. Okusan will step down in light of your determination. You're not bad yourself, Okusan. I think I just got rival zoned. <laughs> there's friend zone, and then there's the rival zone. There's the Virgil zone. Foolishness. Oh yeah, this. Gotta to talk to a Zami. Hey guys, look at these pictures. Do 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 do. Are we done? Yeah. Blah 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 blah. And it's a Zami. So, we apply for a job, we give the job away, and Ryuta's an ungrateful prick and lets us get murdered by a hawk party. Oh me. Pardon me, miss. So yeah, this again. Good morning. 
da 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 My house is a cave. Excuse me, um, we were driven out by you bastards. You can have the job. It does say then that's, that's, that. Hmm. I should. Give me there. I'm determined to get the ending for this guy. It's for his mama. And then I never saw him again. Gotta go with Rio Term now. Go get some yak Tori. This feels like the most boring ending. That's why I've been avoiding it. Because it's like, it feels like, you know, you know exactly what it's going to be. We're going to go home. To not confuse the system into thinking I'm after Nanaki. Missing card. Never find anything out about that card. Uh, do, 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 math. Do, 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 do. Your doll. Haha, <laughs> idleness and debauchery. Hey, Hyoko. What's up? Want to walk home together, though, if you were going somewhere else, I would love to. Sun's going down already. I guess it's fall now. The most elegant of seasons. Hey, look, a swallow. The most elegant of birds. Oh, there is nest. I so to be done rearing chicks by the start of summer. I guess that all birds are changing now. I guess so, the chicks are really small. That reminds me of something from a long time ago. Me too. Thank you, Hyoko. When I was young, I found Ryota freezing on the ground after falling out of his mother's nest because his mother was just like, nah, fuck you, man. Does breed all year round, no wonder they're everywhere. That's how we met, right? When I found you flopping around in the dirt and carried you back up to your nest. That's mean. Thinking about it, if I hadn't walked by then, you'd be dead. So you owe me. Though you're still not exactly the healthiest bird around. Yeah, thanks for literally saving my life and never mentioning it ever again. Jeez. Ungrateful, man. If you hadn't found me then, I wouldn't be here now. Literally owe you my life and I've been ignoring you for like seven playthroughs. I remember... <laughs> it was just a... Ever since I've always loved your kindness and monkey tree climbing jeans. Feels like that's kind of racist. And you're just the same as you were then. Uh, never change. We hang out with Ryota here, don't we, again? Wait! It's time for Maid. No time for fun, only time for maid. Yeah. 
I window shop too much on the way home and the sun's already down wee. Who's the cute girl? There's actually another girl aside from me and Azami. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Riot? Festival's over, is that what you always wear? Yes. This is my job. What kind of job is that? Your misunderstanding. It's just a transmistory cafe! <laughs> yes! I'm not misunderstanding at all! <laughs> we need the money, shut the fuck up. Here, take a flyer. Uh... Oh shit. I'll ask for you when I go there, sounds like such a fucking taunt. I want it! I want it! <laughs> <clears throat> Find a better job. I feel like uh, this one has no, no punctuation. Oh, I don't know. I'll make sure to ask for you. Thank you, I'll be waiting. Why do I even, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I reading this shit? <laughs> like, oh, and my name at work is Cooleen, so address me with that. I, I literally thought he just worked at the front handing out flyers. He wasn't actually a transvestite that worked there. I was, thought that was a fucking taunt. Cooleen, okay. See you later, Cooleen. <laughs> I tip you big little lady. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> to be fair, pi <laughs> pigeons, I feel like they'd be pretty androgynous to an average human. You'd just be like, I don't know if that's a boy or a girl, and putting it in a dress does not tell me any different. Sorry, I need to go somewhere right now, maybe later. Okay, is something wrong? Nothing. Don't call me Colleen. <laughs> Don't worry about it, it's fine. Smile is incredibly unconvincing. What a story. Uh, <laughs> doesn't want me worrying about it. Worrying about it won't do anybody any good. Maybe I'll go to the arcade. And he'll be there as Colleen. <laughs> no! Nobody told me that. That was fun. I haven't played in a while. I should practice some new songs to get back into the game. Huh? What's he doing now? If it says gay bar, or if it says, like, something really weird, like sex shop. Oh, the hospital. Dwang! Well, now I feel like a dick. <laughs> like... Yoko, I want to talk to you. Is now a good time? Sure. What is it? I was gonna make a horrible joke about like his mum's dead. Not sure I'd say this. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Thanks. See, that's why I didn't make that joke. Always used to catch colds during the winter. Even though doves are supposed to fare better in cold than in heat. She's been getting worse since the end of September. After a certain point, I couldn't take care of her on my own, so she's in the hospital now. That's where you've been going after school. I hope she gets better soon. She won't. <laughs> Fucking hell, we went from transvestite cafe, and I thought this guy was going to be the, main, the, the lame standard. You know, just, oh yeah, he's my childhood friend. We've gone from transvestite cafe to his mum is dying. In like, ten text boxes. She won't. He's crying. Sorry for wasting your time talking about my mother's fucking death. See you. Thanks. <laughs> Inconvenience. And he fled. This is depressing. 
We get our finals back today. My shit was rocked. Great, I, I no longer care. Because I feel like shit. <laughs> of course, how do they even send texts? Meet me in the park at 7. Is it a drug deal? I hope it isn't something bad. I hope it didn't keep you waiting. Sorry for dragging you out like this, because last time I dragged you out here, I told you my mum was dying, so I'm just going to go ahead and assume she's dead now. Is your mum okay? She's fine. She doesn't feel anything anymore. <laughs> okay, that was dark. You're old enough already. Go spend some day with someone important and won't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely, so I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. You call me, do you feel better? Yeah, thank you. Sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? I've lost all passage of time because I haven't been reading this box. <laughs> Fine. We spent the evening sitting together in a park. It wasn't very Christmasy, but I didn't mind. But it's raining. Oh well. Am I supposed to go to the shrine? Because he works there. Fiddlesticks. Happy New Year. It's still light out. I'll maybe go out somewhere before I head home. We. I know what beans to get. I know what beans to get. I always remember the beans, which are actually optional. Good evening. Here for beans. They always say the beans are optional, and it's the only thing I ever remember from the flow charts and the, the guides. Rio to wait, huh? Do you have a minute? Sure. Have some corn. Whoa, thanks. Are you sure you want to give me this massive gift of corn? I love these, they're really good. Said they were easy on Bert's stomach, so I thought you might. Sometimes it's tough, but I like being around you and helping you, Ryota. Thank you. That makes me very happy. <laughs> you like Udon. Let me take you out sometime. Okay. He seems happy. Yay. Anyone else feeling like the romance section of these guys is kind of like pretty lame? But they're not, it's not very racy at all. It's like... Wow, here is some corn. Why, thank you. This made me very happy. I am happy that you are happy. Great. I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Someone sent me a text. In the park, come quick. Unknown number. <laughs> Ryota is huddled on the bench where we meet. We've met twice, like it's not our bench. He's crying. Go catch cold without a coat on, right? Dwang. Hey, Yoko. Wow. We all knew it was coming, but it's still pretty fucked up. For this fictional pigeon and his off screen parent. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I don't know what to say. She was a dove, but she always got sick when it was cold. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. You can. I'm alone. I'm alone. 
and I have all these part-time jobs, so you're going to be hella rich. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Rely on Hyoko and let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible. I love you more than anyone else. I'm transferring all of my love for my maternal figure in my life directly onto you. That is not psychologically bad or maladaptive behavior whatsoever. Just do that. Let's ignore that. You're now my matriarch. I love you too. But how can I say this? I'm not your mom. My mum was weak, but it's not as if she had a short life for a dove. So, what are you trying to say? If you were to marry me, I'd die much sooner than you. Dude, your mum died. We're in, a, we're in a freezing cold park. We've just declared love. Can you back the fuck up a second? We don't need to marry right away. We're different species, we have different lifespans. It's like the elf human thing in Lord of the Rings. That's nature. <laughs> but knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it just seems too irresponsible. It doesn't matter, I'll just fuck a load of birds. <laughs> I love you, and I want to be with you until the end. And then that'll be like, I don't know, five, ten years. I don't know how long pigeons live for and doves. And then we'll just go get another one, and, you know, next one will be rich, it's fine. <laughs> Cynicism. I know what it feels like to be left alone. I don't want to make you feel the pain. Oh, trust me, mate, I don't give a shit about you. <laughs> I think we should go our separate ways. No! We went! That's what life is, Ryota. You can't just die at this exact same moment of the loved one. That's fucking weird. Unfair and painful. And sometimes it has seems nothing good will ever happen. 2020, am I right? <laughs> Fighting on, following our urge to seek happiness anyway. That's what makes us alive. Somewhat timely. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. Birds aren't meant to come this far. We've advanced more than we were ever meant to. I'm sure someone said that about the monkey at one point. <laughs> I love you. I want to be with you as long as I can, even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. What's the problem? Literally, I wouldn't have hit my 30s by the time you're dead. <laughs> it's not as healthy, as strong as you are. I'm not smart, handsome, or rich. Oh, well, forget it then. <laughs> but I'm happy. Oh. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. We can worry about the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I'll have calmed down for a while yet, but I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Wow, that's like the simpest shit I've ever had said to me. Holy shit. If, my, if any of my girlfriends said shit like this to me, I would leave their asses. That is fucking wow. I just want to vomit. It might have been this beer, though. Thank you. I'm so glad I was born so I could have met you. Holy fucking shit. That's a great way to get blocked. <laughs> we have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early, then that's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm happy enough with just being with Ryota, the transvestite Colleen. But live as long as you can, Colleen. Live as long as you can so you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. And then Blackbird by Alterbridge plays for some reason. The feels. I still got like another third of this beer. I'm doing like a third of playthrough. It's like 10 p.m. I think we can squeeze another one out. Could have said that better. Uh, so yeah, that's that was Ryota's ending. So we're left with Mad Angel RPG character. 
weird cosplayer, that cringy guy that always thought he was in a video game or anime and would never shut the fuck up. And always Naruto ran everywhere. You know the guy that always... There's always one guy at your uh, school who's like, yeah, I'm cool, and is doing, like, chakra poses. Um, if you don't know him, it's probably you. Um, and we've got the, the Creepo Doctor. <clears throat> and then we got Secret Endings, apparently, after we've done all of those. But let's just... More things have happened behind. Oh, it's like deal or no deal, isn't it? I'll take box number seven. Is this bioweapon? I feel like this is bioweapon. Carrier aptitude. We have examined the genetic records of the entire student body. None of them exceed 98% compatibility. We are continuing to investigate carrier aptitude levels. We will report on the possibility of inducing carrier capability in a normal individual next week. Also not very timely. <coughs> okay, let's end this session.